comparison, Orinda is 12 square miles, so four times the land area, and yet they were only allocated 200 new households. I don't understand that. I understand you said that in your scenario, the, the closer in Bayside communities were allocated a little bit more, and then the further you out, you went out um, further from the centers of employment, they got a little bit less and less. But that is really a, a very skewed, it, it's a difference that I think is, is not explained by, um, by that ex explanation of how the scenarios um, differ between Bayside communities and suburb suburbs further out. Again, Corte Madera, three square miles, 500 new households. Arinda, 12 square miles, 200 new households. So that's my first comment. And then my second comment uh, is that last year when you were going through the initial scenarios and submitting um, or asking for comments, I submitted a Public Records Act request as an individual, not as an elected, for all of the inputs that made up Corte Madera's numbers. I did not get that information. Instead, I was offered a USB drive with every single input into the urban sim model, which would mean that in order for me to go through it and understand the calculations for Corte Madera, I would have to personally become an expert in urban sim. That, in my mind, is not what transparency is about, and it's not what the leaders of our communities expect. We need to be able to explain to our constituents what is going on in local government and regional government. And um, I would really hope that I, we could get better from MTCNA Bay. Thank you. In, in terms of the Public uh, Records Act request, I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with that request. And, and I think um, we'd be open to working together to clarify exactly what you need and we'll get it to you. Um, Thank you. So, so that's fine. We can work on that. In, in terms of the, um, you know, the numbers between communities and Corte Madera and Orinda, um, you know, all I can say, I guess, about that is that, um, you know, we, we did work, obviously, with the Corte Madera planning director, kind of sat down and went through all the assumptions. So that's something that we did through the draft and final. Um, I know in terms of the household growth numbers, um, they, they were lowered a bit between the, the draft and the final, so slightly lower. Um, and, you know, in terms of the process that we undertake, and I, I definitely understand and acknowledge um, the issue of looking at um, a community like Orinda vis-a-vis uh, -vis Corte Madera. And, you know, there's no simple answer to that question, but I, but I think that a lot of it comes down to, um, you know, the fact that, you know, some communities are potentially positioned for some development. We have an economic model that looks at those possibilities. Um, and it's obviously it's a regional model. Um, and so we're happy to work with you and talk more about the assumptions that go into that. Thank you. 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 Thank